Quick Flix, and I was going to show before I get into um, the projects that I'm working on, I went on to Amazon, which I've met, mentioned in numerous videos, uh, to resupply some things that I was running out of, so I did a little extra resupplying. Uh, first, I want to start off by mentioning, because somebody had asked, had ordered something and it came different. In the top of my shop, I mentioned that um, certain embellishments that I put on a piece or certain base that I may have used, uh, there's all sorts of things that could be a different. The image is the same, but there might be a little bit difference in, in the, the way it's decorated because that is subject to availability. Uh, a lot of things I get, and I've mentioned this numerous times, a lot of things I get are um, going out of stock, uh, seasonal things, um, papers, bases. Uh, the last wooden bases that I had been using, I was ordering from, I believe it was Michael's, and they have been out of stock on back order now for three or four months. So I don't use them any longer. I, I, I cannot, I have to come up with something else. I went on and checked a week or two ago to see if they were back in yet, thinking I'll get some just to have them. They still weren't in. I'm done. I'm not going to mess with them anymore. Uh, so I'm back to square one with um, the wood bases. I'm going to have to go back to the the ones that I ordered from Blick, the little square ones. Because um, I can't get what I wanted before. And it's even down to um, my 3 16 inch uh, pegs. I... Uh, my husband went to three different stores this past week, which is something standard everybody has all the time, like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, um, Joy and Fabric, the, any sort of uh, Menards, Home Depot, whatever. They, they've always carried them. You couldn't find them anywhere. So he had to buy these, and I'm not really sure where he got them because it doesn't say, and there's no sticker on it to tell me. But he ended up going with this little packet. These are 12 or 15 inch. How long are they? Three sixteenths by 12, 12 inches. Um, they have to be three sixteenths. They can't be another size because, well, and let, if I wanted to go bigger, of course, the, the drill bit I would would you or would enlarge or whatever. This is the size that I've always used, and I really like it because if it gets bigger, when you're putting the front and back together on a centerpiece. It gets too wide, the separation between the two, and it's too much thicker than the popsicle sticks that go in the middle. So 3 is is the only size that I will use. And I forgot to grab my little saw. Somebody asked me where my little saw was that I talked about in some of my videos. Um, I'm not going to, let's see if I can figure out a way here to not drop the cord down behind my, behind my wall. This is my little saw. Um, I don't know where I put my miter on it. Well, I, I'm not going to look for those right now. It has a miter so that I can cut small pieces in a, on a miter. And it, then it has a, a, a guide here when I'm cutting whatever I'm cutting. I can set my guide in my miter. It In the picture that was taken of this when I said, oh my God, I got to have one of those because it's really cool. It was last year for Christmas. I envisioned it to be at least 12 by 12 square, you know, good, good size. And when my daughter gave it to me in the box, I thought it was a joke. And when I opened it up and realized it wasn't a joke, I realized pictures can be very deceiving. So this is what I'm going to use as an example of. I have had people ask me, please send me a picture of a two foot centerpiece and a 15 inch and an 18 inch and a 12 so they can tell the difference. You can't by looking at the picture. They all look the same. If I, if I take a picture of a specific um image it you're not going to be able to tell what the difference is because when I stage them and I send put my pictures up on my shop I am not going to set it next to something like at a dinner table so you can kind of get an idea what the size look like or I, I just can't be doing that I have the place that I take my pictures and the only way that you're going to be able to tell the difference visually to look at them is see the, a 12 inch and a 15 and an 18 and a 24 standing next to each other. And then you can get an idea that that, that difference by looking at a picture, but it still is not going to serve a purpose if you're thinking about your table and how it's going to look on your table. 
the, the picture, I just, there's no way I can make it look like it's going to look when you, when you're displaying it. So I, I just, I can't do it. Anyway, just wanted to tell you about the dowel rods in case any of you are looking for them here in Madison, we are all out. Um, I went on and I was trying to replenish a, a bunch of my stuff, um, on Hobby Lobby hasn't come yet. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I went to Amazon. Hobby Lobby, I swear by their ribbons and laces. All the all of their um, trims, I I don't think I've ever gotten any in Hobby Lobby. I've got no, that's not true. I ordered some that came from China, and I love the stuff that I get from China as well. And it's really really priced cheap. It's really nice. However, it takes months, literally months to get here. And now with the pandemic, I haven't ordered anything ever since the pandemic started, I don't believe, because I don't I'm not real sure what the criteria was with with shipping and things like that, with the ports being closed all over the place. So I, I don't think I've ordered anything. I could be wrong, um, because it says a lot of the stuff in Amazon comes from China, but I think they have a local distributor here. I don't know. Anyway uh, enough said about that. Uh, another thing, I had always used the Stickles glue or Stickles glitter glue. And I always pushed it the best. Love it. And I started to have issues with not being able to get a hold of co getting colors. They're always out of stock. Um, I go to scrapbookpal.com. Now, number one reason is, is because it's the best price I found. Somebody sent me a link and the price was pretty comparable. It was a little bit cheaper. However, you had to pay shipping. At scrapbookpal.com, you don't pay shipping. As long as I'm talking about that, real quick sidetrack here. Anybody with an Etsy shop or buying off of Etsy, um, every time I list something, a big blob will come up and say to me, um, customers are more likely going to go elsewhere if they if they can't get free shipping. That's fine and dandy. I'm not Menards. I'm not Home Depot. I'm not Bed Bath & Beyond, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. I'm none of them that ship with crates. And, and so their shipping is relatively inexpensive. It isn't for us crafters, it is not. Now I see that a lot of people are doing free shipping. Well, what they're doing is the same thing that I just found when I was trying to um, switch vendors for my, my glitter is if you, you pay a few cents more and typically something like a bottle of glitter, you're not going to order one bottle. You're going to order, I usually order 50 to 100 at a time because I really stock up and I go through a lot. So I get free shipping with scrapbookpale.com. The other place doesn't offer free shipping. Uh, I don't know how much, how much you have to spend because they didn't even get that far. It was a little bit cheaper, but you had to pay for shipping. Um, my box is from Uline. I have to pay my own shipping. My shipping, a lot of times, costs nearly as much as my boxes do. There's no getting around it. That's what it is. It's a fact of life. Shipping is what it is. And I'll have people say, well, you know, that's kind of high in shipping. Shipping is the price of your materials to ship it in. I use bubble wrap on every order. I order my boxes from Uline that are never cheap. The tape the 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 um, labels that I have to order, everything that goes into it along with my husband's time as a shipper. It should read shipping and handling all as one because it isn't just with the post office. So if you get a box and you were charged $14.95 for shipping and you see the label says it was $11.80, you're going, oh, they overcharged me. No, I didn't. I always undercharge because I never ever take into consideration the cost of the box and all the materials that go with it. So enough said on that. I got sidetracked, but Shipping is, is a sore spot with me because it's something I cannot control. So I get all worked up. But anyway, I do like the shipping too. Um, on Hobby Lobby, I needed bows, but we're going back with the pandemic. We're back to the mask thing. And before I had a chance to get used to not wearing a mask, because uh, I don't go out much anyway, now that I have to wear a mask again, uh, I'm not going out. So I get Amazon. I was really getting up, getting ready to make a trip to Hobby Lobby. But from what my husband's telling, the amount of stuff off the shelves, I'm afraid if I can't get it online, I'm not going to get it in the store. So I just went to Amazon and ordered. Um, I ordered black bows, and I really like these. A lot of times I go into the wedding wedding part of Michael's, and they have the little packet pla or the little plastic bags of bows that have a little pearl in the middle, and I think they're really cute. But they're too small for a lot of things that I want them. 
These are much more generous in size and they are all perfect. I did order some bows from somewhere else and they were a mul a different kinds of uh, colors. You could get one pack. Oh, stop right in the middle of saying something. I was going to show you some bows that I ordered when I got multiple colors. I found a little of the black one in it. Here's one of the little black ones with the pearl in the middle that you get in the package. And then here's the ones that I ordered. The size difference, I don't know how much you can tell, tell looking at them here or even holding them up next to each other. I don't know how clear that is. Big difference in the size, and I love these. When I ordered a bunch of just different colors, because I always need different colors, there's one to throw away. There's another one to throw away. I can't retie them if they come undone because the pieces are too, pe too small. And these are really crummy bows. And all I know is I got them from somewhere on Amazon, but I don't remember what shop. I would never buy them again. I do not like the way they're folded. There's no comparison between these two bows at all. And the price was not any different, but I did not realize that they were going to come and be folded so crappy. They're really, really, um, I can't, I can't, uh, get a picture that can really clearly show you how poorly wrapped they are. But I didn't even realize I had these in here. I was looking for black bows the other day, which sent me to Amazon to order because I realized I didn't have any. So, and then what I do is with the packets, I have these little pails that are my crafting pails, but when I'm not using them, I'm using them. I'm not using them for a display or anything, but I'm using them and put my stuff in there because I run out of room. Hippity hop, hip hip hop, hooray, hip, whoa, hip hip hooray. That was a tongue twister. I can't believe I couldn't remember that. I got another bag of black, but I won't put those in there so that I can forget that I have them or where I put them when I need them. I got some pink ones. When you see these, oh, they're so nice. And you know, I'm looking at them, they're, they're tied with a string wrapped. Yeah, they're really nice bows, and they were not expensive, but uh, I don't know the website, guys, and I um, I just did a search and put in craft bows or something to that effect, and so it wasn't necessary that I put in it, search fields. is just, you can do it. I know you can do it, because I'm not going to try and keep track of that stuff. It's not going to happen. Uh, I found... My wood buttons that I do love, they're a size of a quarter, but I found them smaller. And all I know is these are little wood buttons that are painted and, or I don't know what that is on it. I would imagine it's paper somehow, but I don't know how they do it. Don't really care how they do it because I wouldn't. I buy them. And they're supposed to be at least a couple of each. I'm assuming they're probably the other in this bag what will be nice i haven't used i've used the bigger ones on a couple projects these are about the size of a penny and then the other ones that i have are about the size of a quarter you see the difference there in the sizes um love these and they're inexpensive just look up wood buttons and you'll find my wheels don't even roll on my rug anymore I, I can barely, yeah. they don't roll guys so Anyway, that is my, all I'm going to talk about are the buttons. And I don't know if both bags are going to fit in this little jar or not. Um, but I will put those aside with the black bows and I think I'll hide and never remember where I put them. Then I got Briefix, B-R-I-E-F. IX is the store that I got um, my bows from on Amazon. Again, it's B R I E F I X. Uh, on these bows I'm showing you now, not the ones I just showed you, but all of these. That's these are even bigger. Black and white polka dot. I think they're bigger. They look like they're bigger. Yeah, they are. They're even bigger than the black ones. Black and white polka dot ones I got. Oh, I love these. And I've got so much stuff. I can't believe I forgot to order yellow. Um, I got hot pink. Let's take a look and see. 
the size on this one. Um, because I'm working on one, two, three, I think four projects right now that I'm going to try and get video videos of. Um, hot pink and white polka dot. And then I got, for some reason, I have no idea why, unless I forgot and didn't pay any attention to what I had in my cart, because they didn't even come in the same order. They came in a separate order. I got three bags of red and white polka dot, which is okay with me because I use them a lot. I will use those. But I, I'm in love. We're going to start our gnomes again for the holidays. And so I will be using these, these bows. And then I got Baby Boo. Let's see how these look. They should look exactly the same because they're from the same manufacturer. They definitely baby proof things. And they figured now what they do is they elderly proof them too. Because my husband and I have the hardest time getting packaging opening anymore. Big year they made it so the old people can't hurt themselves opening or cutting themselves. I don't know what. They blew them white polka dot. So that's it on my bows. Then what I got, these are wood circles. And I would say they're probably about maybe five eighths of a circle, it doesn't, I don't think it tells me anywhere in the bag there's nothing. And they're just half, which I love, so I can use them as buttons. And they came with gray, white, black, and black and white buffalo plaid. These I love, and I will be using them somewhere on some of the projects I'm working at, but this bag, these were like $3.99 a bag, and they're painted. Um, they're really, really nice. I think they were very, very reasonable in the price on these, but I, I like, I'll find all sorts of uses for these. I always wanting flat. Sometimes I'm working with some wood balls, and I thought, oh, why can't they be flat? And then I got the red as well. These will probably go somewhere on gnomes for the Christmas and Halloween. Well, this wouldn't be for Halloween black, maybe. I've got white in there. I've got unpainted, no color, pine. I thought they were, when I was looking at them, I thought they were yellow. They're just not painted. They're unfinished. Yeah. And then the red buffalo plant. Um, there's... 120 pieces in a bag. Gosh, I wish I had the, the in front of me the price or that they had it on the bag. I want to say $3.99, but they might have been $7.99 or $6.99. There's 120 of them, so I'll tell you what, they'll go a long way. Then, I'm going to get into some fun stuff here. I did a search of... Oh, how did I do it? Crap. I don't remember what the search window was, but it opened up a ton of awesome stuff. These just came in. I'm going to open my first package here. These are about a half an inch or an inch. Um, I can't figure out where to open it from. And, uh-oh, they, again, they proofed it where I can't get into it. Oh, boy. There's two. So this this was in the jewelry. That's what it was. It was in jewelry making. Um, and I really found a ton of stuff I can use in there. Uh, these gems. Oh, my gosh. These are so awesome. And you'll never, never do justice on a video like they are in person because even on the picture um, where I ordered them from didn't even do it and there's little crystals in like about every one of the every other one of the the circle around it it's not a circle but a teardrop Sophia the first on her necklace oh it was purple however 
you can use um, Distress Ink Ranger ink refills or Copic ink refills and dye gems if you want to. So if you really wanted to have it purple like it is in on the, the Sophia, you, you could do so using those inks. These, I think, are awesome. I'm going to kind of lay this stuff out so if I decide to take a picture of it so you can really see it well, I'll have a picture. Some of it might be pictures off the floor because I don't know how many bend overs I'm going to be able to do. So, those are freaking awesome. <laughs> Excitement, guys. I think it'll be Christmas. Oh, I've been locked up too long. Way too long. But um, my kids are really getting um, worked up, particularly my daughter. Now with school starting and, the, and children not being vaccinated. And I don't know if I said this on a video or not. Um, I was vaccinated the first shot that I got to be vaccinated. Um, I came from an era of people that it, when my kids were little, it stopped since my kids were little, is that you couldn't even go to school if you didn't have your vaccine records. There was no option. You had to have the vaccines, which probably the people, I totally in 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 favor of people having the choice if they don't want to do it or whatever. I, I have nothing against that. However, when I hear that my getting vaccinated is to protect me because I can still get it but not have the symptoms, and it, and it protects me from getting the symptoms and getting really sick and something horrible happening, um... It also does protect you, or, or protect me from giving it to you if I wear a face mask and I've had the, the vaccine. And where I was going was this, with this was I had the vaccine for my family. And they said, well, it hasn't been tested enough and everybody's kind of wishy-washy about it because it, it didn't go through the standard testings. And I understand it. I understand that. However, I know for a fact that the pandemic exists, and I know for a fact that people are dying from it, and I know for a fact that children are getting it, and elderly are getting it. I know for a fact my mother had it, who passed away in October, she had COVID. Um, my daughter-in-law's uh, mother-in-law, not my daughter-in-law, my um, niece, my niece's mother-in-law, healthy. She was a doctor, she was healthy and fit. She got COVID and passed away um, not that long ago, just a few months ago. Um, she hadn't had the vaccine yet. But to me, all of those things we know, and I hear my kids talking about people talking about it's a conspiracy and whatever. And, you know, you, you give somebody this much to talk about and all of a sudden they've taken the whole roll of string you had. Um, I did it for my for my kids, for my kids and for my grandkids because I didn't want them to get sick from me. I didn't do it for me. I did it for them. Um, and so when you think about it and you don't want to have the vaccine for yourself, you're not thinking about your family, your children, your loved ones or anything. You're thinking about you and me when I... If you have underlying conditions and you're at a high risk and everything, the doctors, would, I would think, would tell you, life is a gamble. You get in a car and it's a gamble. You drive with me and it's even a bigger gamble. Um, and to me, I was willing to take that gamble because I have 15 grandchildren that I love dearly and I have four grandchildren and, and, and spouses that I love dearly. And to me, I would rather I took the risk and, and I don't want something to happen to me that would affect them. So, I don't know. I, I just, we know the disease is there. We can't fight it. So, just, it, just to me, just get vaccinated. You know, and somebody's saying, well, people are getting it even if they're vaccinated. I know, I know. People got the chicken pox when they're vaccinated, your smallpox or tuberculosis, and people had the vaccines and still got it. It's such a lame excuse. Yeah. <laughs> I went down a rabbit hole, didn't I, guys? Speaking of rabbit hole, I bought the show for Oculus, the, the game, Rabbit Hole, because I love mystery, and I love that 3D stuff, and I love the caricatures, the whole bit. So I bought it. I can't figure out what the control buttons on my 
my hand <laughs> job is out to go down the hall and figure out all these the mysteries the answers so that i can finish the game i look like a fool my husband i hope thankfully didn't come up upstairs last night i and got ready for bed and everything and i had my oculus on trying to play um down the rabbit hole and i can't see anything <laughs> when i have this thing on so he could have come in and snuck in and said what are you doing like a kid he would tell me god that's just like a kid what are you sitting there doing i want to play this game so i have to play it in hiding no i don't care what he says i'm gonna play it anyway but if anybody has ever played down the rabbit hole enlighten me as to what your command buttons are on your hand because i'm pushing them all trying to figure out what to do and then it'll give you a hint and say do such and such and i don't know what the such and such is something about touch all the clocks I touched all the clocks. Nothing happened. So anybody have that game that's watching this? Probably not. But if any of you do have it, enlighten me. I would love to know. And by the way, I'm still on a, on a roll. It's been two months, two full months now that I use my workout on my Oculus every single night from anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours. And I am loving it. Today I bought three tapes of new music to put on my um, Beat Saber because I'm sick of the music. It's making me go because the mu music's horrible. So I bought some upgrades that they had on music. So after I'm done here, I'm going to go do my workout before I finish my next video. <laughs> so excited. I know, like a kid. Anyway, these are all metal pieces I'm going to show you now. This was supposed to be short and it's been an hour, guys, or 16 minutes. I'm good. I'm safe. I thought it said an hour there. I'm safe. These are metal flowers. Love this kind of stuff. Um, and it came with three and a ten in the in the pack of that. Um, I ordered some rhinestone buckles in different sizes. I have so many things that I need this stuff for, and it hasn't didn't all come in. So this film is going to be connected to one of my projects. I won't be showing it by itself. So that's what I'll do when the rest of the stuff comes in. These again, these are rhinestone kind of flower or I don't know what you call them, but they're rhinestones and they're about the size of, of a penny. And I love, I love it, love it, love it. Let's see how many in here, probably 10, three. I'll take a picture like this, guys, so you can see them, six, 10. Well, what do you know? Um, Again, this was in jewelry, uh, in jewelry making. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how there's no, I don't, I don't know. It's jewelry. It's all on Amazon. And if I can find it, you can find it. Because believe me, nobody gave me directions. You get me on, oh, these are with pearls on them. Oh, and rhinestones. There's rhinestones in the middle around the, the bigger pearl. And then the pearls on the outside. Oh, guys, and these are all perfect size for almost anything but my one foot. Well, my one footers too. These can go in the hair, in the hair. Um, on their, their, uh, waists and love them, love them. Okay. We got another packet guys. I went a little crazy. I needed some. I just did a Sophia party and there must've been 50 center pieces and you, you would not believe it. It was a, it was an overwhelming order to do and, and stay focused, or not focused, but remember what I was doing because it was so many pieces. It was hundreds of images that had to be cut out front and back and glittered and put together. It was a big job. These are pearls and rhinestones. Then we have some of these little florets, like the white ones, but they are in black. Oh, they're a little bit different. They're, the, the petal on it is not, there's not so many petals, there's less petals on it. And then it's black with the um, rhinestone in the middle. And some of you might, think this is not a very educational video. Um, wasn't meant to be educational. It was meant to be um, uh, it was a word that I wanted. Um, more showing you 
where you can get things that everybody's always asking, where can I get it? Where can I get it? So that's what I'm doing. I'm showing you some stuff that I got and I got it at Amazon. So anybody there thinking, what the heck is she showing? Because they don't care. Something just went by on my camera. I'm getting spooked. Getting spooked. Okay. These look like snowflakes. They're not, though, but they're um, full of rhinestones. Man, this stuff really is glittery. I mean, the rhinestones, they're really good quality. The, the um, sound like a diamond expert. Not quality rhinestones, but the pieces are put together. I feel like really good quality. Watch me put something together and all the stones fall out. Okay, those are probably, oh, maybe a half an inch. They're not very big. They're big enough, but they aren't monstrosities. So, and I've got a bag here of white ones, which I believe are just like the black ones, but white. Brilliant deduction there. Okay. Oh, I started to talk about the glitter. <laughs> I totally forgot about it. Anybody thinking, man, is she going to finish the glitter story? <gasps> Guys, i got to remember about the glitter. Mm. got to tell you about the glitter. That was the whole purpose of this. I wanted to tell you about that, too. About where I could get the glitter, and now I can't. We already just established that. These are just like the black ones, but white. What I was going to say about the glitter, I somebody had told me about the Nouveau drops. Um... And I got them, and, and my first purchase, I had to have the thing to, to, to hold them in. This is well, this is actually made by Nouveau, and I got that with uh, pearl drops. And these are all creams that I use for various things, and then these are all my glitters, the next two shelves. And the first time I used them, I thought, oh, I didn't like them. So they've been sitting there. And since scrapappel.com was out of the ones that I needed, I decided to use these because I had them. One thing is it'll tell you the color here um, on the side. There'll be the color. And the, this is not how it dries because the glue is mixed in with the glitter and the glue clears, dries clear. And then the color that you used comes out a lot darker, a lot better. I love it. This little girl I did from um, the LOL, uh, I used all the Nouveau on them and on, well, the whole thing. But when it dries, the texture is so different than the glitter. And whoever it was that told me about this, I'm going to apologize because I told you I didn't like it. Now I'm going to tell you thank you and remind me who you were if you see this. Say, it was me, it was me. Because I love them now. I just went on this. I ordered some um, a couple weeks ago along when I was ordering my stickles. I ordered some more. And then I went and ordered all of the Nouveau that I couldn't get in the stickle colors. So I'm gradually stocking up on both. So I have both because I still do like the stickles. The stickles is a little bit smaller bottle and a little less expensive. These are larger. But what I have found so far is that they don't clog like the other ones. And it's really, really easy to get the lid off if there's a clog. And what I found since I'd had them for over a year, I don't even know when I bought them. They, they weren't coming out smoothly, that I took the end off and inside the top of the lid, there was a glob that was dried. It's almost like the top of the glitter had dried because they weren't used. So all I did was take the lid out and took a pin and pulled that clog out, cleaned out the inside of the, the, the tip and everything, they were perfect. The way they dry, the way they go on, I don't get that sputtering with them. Um, right now I'm telling you, I absolutely love them. I'll let you know more as I use them more, but right now I'm loving them. And on some of the projects I'm going to be working on, 
I will be using them. Hello. That's going to, hubby just got home, so that's going to be it for now. I will get back to you with another project. Everybody have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Maybe if I can get this turned off. Hi, it's Jill with Quick Flex, and I yesterday videotaped uh, the stuff that I ordered online from Amazon to kind of give you guys an idea of what kind of things you can get really cheap, and shipping's great. So anyway, but I said I was going to attach it with another video, and it turned out that one was pretty long, so attaching them is going to make this extremely long. Um, I'm working on the LOL Girls. And I've got two of them done, and I'll kind of go over what I did. I didn't put this one together yet because I wanted to show you. People are asking, can I show it from printing from the very, very beginning? I have so many videos up that are from the beginning. When I started my business, I was videotaping. So there's a whole bunch from the very beginning. Um, I may, may say five years ago, I started using the silhouette instead of the Cricut. So the ones you would want to look at um, that tell you how to do things would be using the silhouette, the cameo, not the Cricut, because I don't use that anymore. So any questions on it, I wouldn't be able to answer. Uh, their new machine out, I don't, I know nothing about it. But anyway, the LOL, these are two footers, uh, but because of the size of their heads, when I put her pigtails on, you'll know what I mean. I have to cut her all up in pieces in order to fit it on my 12 by 18 inch paper. Um, I know that they have a machine out now that cuts wider. However, I, to me, I have absolutely zero need for it because I can't get, there's no reason for me, to, I wouldn't be able to put it through my printer. That's what I'm trying to say. It wouldn't fit in my printer, so I don't care how wide it is. Um, if I can't print it out, uh, it's worthless to me. So, people have asked me about the, the, if I was going to upgrade for that reason, and no, because it serves no purpose to me. Okay, I already did the glitter on them, so they're all ready to put together. On her, I had to cut her ears and mane off and two pieces. Her head, a piece, and I'm using 12 by 18 inch paper, and then her body. This one was cut into three sections. I've got glitter on everything with the exception of the part, the pieces where I'm going to be putting the ruffle. And so, again, these are two foot pieces. And let me get this next video moved over here. I need to find my pegs. Um, so, I don't need pegs. I only needed one. And i got to put it together first. My, my, um, my family just left. It's my grand granddaughter Isabel's eighth birthday today, and the birthday party was here because they want she wanted a pool party at Nama's house. So my daughter said, "Let's make it from four to five thirty and wrote out to everybody. We're doing it four to five thirty. I want to make it quick, you know, just in and out because <laughs> when you've got when you've got four kids, um, you're constantly go 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 go." And you finally get to a point where you think, oh, okay, we're not going fast enough. But the kids didn't want to leave. Oh, glue. The kids didn't want to leave. And so it is now 7 o'clock. And I need to finish some work that's got to go out tomorrow. And I try, tried to come in because I told my daughter, you know, I said, you guys can have over anybody you want, anytime you want. I don't care. But I'm not always going to go out there and sit with you. So I tried to escape early on the party because I had things to do. My husband said, can't you just wait another half hour? Well, I know what a half hour is for them when they're getting ready to go and they're packing up all these kids. They were um, trying to think they're 15, no, those two 13, what do you make, 16, 17, 18 little kids here, 18 little ones. And that was just family. 
and uh, it was and it was really cute because my granddaughter when when asked where she wanted to have the party she wanted to have it here and she also wanted family only she didn't want any friends there which I thought was very very odd but you know I, I thought it was kind of I thought it was cute but I thought I can't believe she didn't want to have friends but she didn't she said, I just want my family because she's really really close with her cousins my other daughter's kids they're all very very close and they all kind of say frequently they don't need anybody else but each other and I <laughs> can't find these are the same piece and it's not Oh, there it is. I was wrong. I was putting on the wrong piece. Now, what I do, I'm going to show you when I, um, once I, that isn't where I want the tape. The tape goes here. And, yes, I ordered a new tape gun because I'm having issues. Oh, seriously? These, these tape guns are driving me nuts. They just drive me out of my mind. I have so many issues with the tape um, wrapping around. So I bought a brand new one, and I didn't realize it was a generic, and I would have never bought it if I had I known that. Because I always get what you pay for. Not always, but sometimes, you know, you just, you got to suck it up and spend and get the good one. Or you're going to be buying numerous. I learned that on the hot glue gun. I used to have to get a new hot glue gun about every six months until I invested in a good one, which has paid for itself numerous times. So much better. And see, when I cut out the parts, like the body and everything, I add a tab where I'm going to glue them. You just saw on the ears, on the mane and the ear. Not the ear and the mane. I was thinking I was doing it a unicorn. I was thinking of horses. Oh my God, you guys. Just this party that I just did for my granddaughter. I did all these unicorns. So all I'm picturing here that this is the unicorn's mane or tail. Because it's a unicorn, but this is her pigtails. I probably shouldn't even be filming because I am spent. Stayed up till three in the morning working last night because I was making Isabel's party decorations. And, yeah, I do the kids' party the night before the party. And then get up early and finish them because I have to let all the glitter. I did, uh, where did I even put them? I was going to keep them. They came out so cute. They were just the, these, I'm going to put them in my shop because they've made five of them uh, on the wood basis. And my granddaughter just called me and asked me if she could have them. She just wanted them for her bedroom. I'm like, yeah. Mommy said she didn't want her to have them because her room had so much stuff in it. But I made them for her, so if she wants them, they go to her. But I have to put new bases on them. I use great big wood ones because that's what I have ready. I'm trying not to take on. The reason I'm not lining up this way is because sometimes when I put them together, they are not matching up, which I don't know why. I'm sure there's a simple answer that, yeah, that's the right side. Yeah, this one's not matching up. How come? It's gonna match, guys, because it has to match. Unless I cut out two of the same, no, I didn't, did I? I want to make sure I didn't cut two of the same side out. Nope, it's definitely reversed. So, why is that not fitting in there? My frustration is going to start to mount. There we go. Got it. Got it. Now i got to get the other one. Told my husband too, you know, I, I need to get my work done here because I absolutely am adamant. I don't care how tired I am or how much I've eaten, I'm adamant about working out at night because if I miss one night, I feel bad and then it doesn't bother me to skip another night. And I get I'm 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 a routine person, and if I miss something and I'm throwing out a routine. I have a hard time getting back into it. So I don't give myself much time off for anything. 
And that's the truth. I'm always up to something. Good, bad, or indifferent. Always got something going on. But oh, I forgot to count those other people. Damn, my backyard was just full of people. And a lot of kids. Lots of kids. But they were having a good time. They all swam the entire time. And they wanted to swim into the dark, into evening. And that was one I had for the house. I said, uh-uh, I'm done. I didn't go swimming. Sam talked to my um, daughter, mother, mother-in-law, um, who was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, stage four, six years ago. And um, the original, it was everywhere. And the original pro prognosis or diagnostics or whatever it is, they said to her, um, that it wasn't going to be worth treating because it was everywhere, which I can't believe somebody would tell them that and tell them it over the phone. And I don't know. But anyway, she went in. It was on a Friday. And she went in on Monday and actually met with the doctor. And they treated her and said, they're, get, her, get her as much time as they possibly can because it was a very, very aggressive cancer. And she's going into year seven. She's being treated again now. Um... They change around the treatment. She's still not out of the woods. It's not gone, but it's not growing. So I hadn't seen her in a while because of the pandemic, and she came over, and it was awesome to see her. It's been been so long, and she is a fighter. She just bungee jumped off a building downtown Chicago last week. Um, they did it for cancer awareness or some sort. Um, I don't know if it was her type of cancer or whatever. Her and my granddaughter had cancer at the same time. They were diagnosed within days, months, a couple months of each other. I don't remember if it was the same month or whatever, but it was pretty much treatments and everything. They were going through everything together. And that is not something I wanna, would want to share with anybody horrible for both of them but my granddaughter is going to be 13 in October and she's doing absolutely fantastic thank god I asked her the other day she was over and asked her how often she has to go now and she said well she's down to once a year now and she said once she hits the eight year which is next year she'll be down to once every two years and then she said she thinks after that they're done. She doesn't have to go anymore to be checked. But um, she's doing fantastic. And a lot of you went through that time with me when I was videotaping. And remember what I was going through. She's our firstborn grandchild. And she's very, very, very special. She was here today with one of her girlfriends, their best buddies, and they like to dress alike and uh, everything they got to do like each other well they both play in basketball and they just had tryouts and her friend all of her friends they all play on the same team um made the b team and kendall made the a team and her best friend was so upset because she wanted to play with her and my daughter had asked if she'd rather just play with that team and be a star, or would she want to play on the A team and learn? She wanted to play on the A team. So I pray that goes well and that she gets enough playing time and makes new friends and because um, all the rest of them will be playing together. And I don't know if she even knows anybody on this new team, but just a little bit, bit piece of information. My new granddaughter is four weeks old now. She's four weeks on Thursday and hasn't even hit six pounds yet. <laughs> She's so tiny. I do not get how that daughter babies are so freaking little. All, all of her babies are itty bitty 
tiny things and Wyatt is eight and he can still wear um, his brother's, his little brother's. He'll throw a pair of shorts on because he'll just grab whatever and get dressed. And he, so you'll look at the tag because you'll think, yeah, that, I don't think that's yours. It'll be like a size two. There goes my phone. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this and get back to ya. Hello? Hello? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay, I'm back. That was my daughter calling. She wanted to make sure everything was okay after the party. And I don't know how much of my film got cut off. I'll look at it or how much of my conversation. What I'm going to do now is all of these are from Hobby Lobby. Absolutely love these when I'm doing lay layered skirts. Um, it's pleated rather than like a, a singed or whatever, cinched, draws, draw. Oh, why do I even try and remember, remember these words? I can barely remember my name and I'm always trying to remember words I never used. So why use them now? But anyway, I am, the, the colors on this skirt are this blue and purple and pink. And that is what I'm going to put on here. All three layers. I got lucky I had all of this in stock because that is not always the case. And I'm gonna bring it around and when I, when I wrap it, I go a little over the edge here so I can fold the corner around and glue it down so I don't have that ugly edge. However, I do have I don't have a scissors. There's my scissors. Oh, oh my word. So, what was I going to cut off? There's a little piece sticking out here that I have no idea. Not going to be missed. And then I'm just going to wrap that around. There we go. And... I'm wrapping around under her elbow, so it'll be a little bit longer because the only way to get it under the elbow is if I slit the elbow out, which I've done that in the past, and then put the elbow on the top or add another arm and put it on top of the, um, on top of her, on top of the skirt. How many times did I say on top of, and that's in that uh, last sentence? I've got too much going through my head right now. And I think it's all just about ready to uh, crash and burn. Man, I wish my chair hadn't stopped where it won't go across the rug. It's awful. Okay, now we are going to use the purple. Purple. Lavender, lilac, whatever. Okay, pull this one up. And again, this is from Hobby Lobby. I love the, the options that you have on Hob Hobby Lobby for trims. Um, the ones that they sell on a roll. To me, by far, they have the best of anything local. Not necessarily online. However, maybe even online. I just love their stuff. And I do like the fact that I can see it in person. Because I have gotten burned on ordering some things on Amazon. And when they, when they arrived, they were not anywhere near what was pictured. But pictures are they, they're as good as they can get. And sometimes it's not real good. And sometimes it looks better in pictures, which is not a good thing. Or I shouldn't say it looks better. I like it when it doesn't look as pictures don't do it justice. I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling, guys. It's been a while. And school starts in a couple days. And my daughter, my my daughters, they're the only ones that have school age kids, cannot wait for school to start. You know, having had off that 
year of, of um, the pandemic and then they just get back to school and they get out for the summer break. They weren't even in school for a month before they were let out and they still weren't in, but like a couple, two days and then off two days and whatever it was, did all the homeschooling. I pray to God they don't do that again. I have to have my kid, my children will have to be institutionalized. I just know it because it, it is really hard on them trying to work a job and homeschool your teacher at the same time. My one daughter said her and her husband had decided if they didn't, if they closed up the schools, they were going to hire somebody to nanny the children. They were not going to try and do it themselves. Okay, now we're going to put the pink roll on. And this is the last one. I made three little girls, and I'll show y'all three. And the next thing I'm working on are the 70 silhouettes. Love doing those. Love doing any of these. This is my therapy. Oh, one came on cinched here, so I'm going to have to push it together. The pleat. There we go. Oh, these are so cute. But man, I went heavy duty on the the um, glitter because I absolutely love this Nouveau that I had talked about earlier. Now, again, I, I mentioned in the beginning or the, the video that just showed right before this, same video, but the first part, um, that I look at the color in the bottle and none of the colors were as vibrant as the the stickles. And that was one thing that I wasn't real sold on them. But when it dries, it's it's unbelievable how the color changes. It's because I have one that says Slipper Ruby Red. And this bottle here says Ruby Red. This to me doesn't even look even barely red. And it dries bright red awesome. I don't know why there's such a difference between the two in the way that they dry. But again, whoever it was that told me to get them, um, thank you. Because now I love them. Okay. Ah, got it. There we go. There we go. There we go. A little piece left over. Don't ever throw them away because you can piece it together. There we go. I got her done. There is uh, um, the accent essentials on the mouth to make the mouth glossy. I decided to do everything in glitter here and not put the flowers on because I was putting this lace ruffle. You know what I think I do want to do though? I think I want to put a bow. Um, I don't have them sitting here, but let me see if I can reach a bow here. Um, let me see which one I want to go for. There's the blue. There's a purple. There's a pink. I want to put... I'm going to hold them up here and decide what color I want to go. Right over here, maybe pink or blue and white polka dot. That's on blue, that doesn't stand out. And then there's a purple. And I'm gonna go with the pink. I like the pink the best. So I'm just gonna put a little bow on her skirt. And flip her over and put a bow on the other side. Yeah, I really did fill in a lot of glue or glitter on this one, on all three of these. They're really glamoured. Okay, there we go. And dusty, not dusty, soft dust from my husband drilling. 
Okay. There we go. There we have her and Bon Bon and I can't remember the other one's name. There's three of them. And I wanted to put bows on her too. I glittered everything on her. And when I was talking about the Nouveau glitter versus the stickles, the texture I absolutely love on the Nouveau. It just, it's really, really nice. Should I say really one more time? I can. I don't have yellow bows. I cannot believe when I ordered all the bows, I didn't order yellow. I don't think I use much yellow. That might be why I didn't. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put purple on top of the yellow. Oh, I'm the creator here. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to put purple. She's so cute. Again, I did all the glitter and the glossy accents on her mouth. And they're all two feet. And all of them were cut in sections of anywhere from two. She was two, her body in this part. She was only two pieces. And I don't know why that one. I think the reason that hers had to be so many pieces is because she has a really big head. Because, I don't know, compare the two and I don't know why it's cut that way. It was cut that way for a reason when we did it. I don't remember what that reason was. I'm trying to think if there's anything else new. New besides my grandbaby. And I'm waiting to hear that I'm willing to bet it's going to be short like I'm going to find out that I'm going to be have number 16 coming along because my son has one is wanting another one but they both are they got they got married and and two of my kids two of my both my sons got married and within a month both their wives were pregnant not the same time just two different times they just happened that quickly but they got married older, so they were ready. This one has glitter on it. This side doesn't, so I'm going to do some of the glitter on here. And on this one, I'm using the color um, Whisper, Lilac Whisper. By evening, I can't even see through my contacts. My eyes get so tired. I'm going to finish this one, and then I'm going to go work out so I can get some energy to finish the, the 70s one. They are so cute, and I will do my very best. No, I won't be videotaping that one because it won't be till after I work out. And after I work out, I shower, and I'm not going to videotape. That is a promise. You'll never watch my videos again. But. I might. Uh, no, I won't be waiting until tomorrow. I want to get that out in the morning. So I've done that in the past. Maybe I'll throw a picture up at the end of this video and show you them completed. The 70s. Because they're always different. I use different embellishments on every one of them. It's whatever I can get my hands on. Have I even talked about what I'm doing here on my project? Probably not. And maybe nobody really here hears the hear all my other garbage. Oh well. Press that button to move forward, and I won't be offended. I wouldn't listen to me. Uh-uh. There we go. There is, I, I think this one's Bon Bon. Oh, and then here's another one. Now, what I did on her, I don't think I have to add anything on her. Um, I cut the bow off, off of the file. I mean, I cut it. And, and then cut it out of glitter. This is glitter paper. I didn't glitter it. This is glitter paper. Um, I used my Nouveau on her eyes. I used my a a embellish. What is it called? Glossy accents, is it? Depends on what mood they're in. 
Now it says clear dimensional medium. Sometimes, oh, glossy accents is the name of it by Ranger. This is what I use on the eyes. I still get asked this frequently. And I also get asked frequently to go ahead and put it up on my website or on my underneath on my video. So everybody had the answer. And I did that for a while and then forgot. And I have so much that I need to remember to do. Um, I just, I get to a point. I just do what I can do. So I don't videotape very much lately. I'm just so busy that I just haven't been able to take the time. But I've been trying the last few weeks. I think I've done maybe one a week or one every two weeks, which normally I do that many at least every day. But I wasn't taking care of two babies when I was doing that. I might have been taking care of one who napped, um, which was Mila, who gave up napping at one. She was a year old and gave up napping. And I said, I'm not ready to give up my nap yet. Not she was. Okay, and then this is the last one, Cassandra. So I got to let her dry lying down. And remember, if you ever use the, ac the accent essentials, you have to wait till you see it start to turn solid, clear. You can tell when it's drying before you you move it, stand it up if it's something like this, because it'll run. You're not going to want it to run. So with that being said, I am done. I will take some pictures of them after Cassandra has dried and get this uploaded. And I will be on to the next. Thank you so much for watching. And everybody have a safe and fantastic week. It is Sunday and tomorrow is work day. So thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye. Using my TV changer to turn it off. I tell you. The only thing I retain is water. <laughs>